Take the top off, let the sun come in. Whoa, for all my dogs that stay down, we up again. Oh, I got dirt on my name, I got white on my beard, I had dead on my books, it's been a shaky ass year. Let me make this clear, so all y'all see, I don't take advice from people that's successful than me. What's going on everybody, CW Entertainment here, back today with another episode of MLB The Show 18. We're back out of here on the Chicago Cubs franchise, and we are finally going to be getting back to a more consistent schedule, because I'm finally done with that summer class I was taking, and hey... I was glad to be able to bring these videos back. We're going to start getting them out more and more, especially after the last time, you know, we wound up taking that loss. And I'm sure you guys are still mad about that. Plus, they are already mad that the Cubs lost. So, yeah, we're going to try to go ahead and bounce back, especially since we lost to the Brewers, too. I mean, we've been doing well against the Brewers. That was actually our first home loss, and that was the first loss to the Brewers this season. So, see if we can get things rolling. As you Darvish is off to a great start as he winds up striking out the side in the very first inning. And I'm sure you guys have been pretty well aware of the whole U Darvish situation that's been going on in real life. Uh, apparently, he believes the Cubs fans hate him. Whether that's true or not, I mean, he hadn't really lived up to the expectations that, you know, the team kind of has set for him and with the fans. I mean, but it's not too, like, surprising that he's not doing too well, especially after what was going on during the playoffs last year with the, um, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. So, I said, it's not, you know, it's not too surprising that he might not be as good as a player as possibly the Cubs were thinking that he was going to be. Especially if you were able to get somebody like Arietta at the price range that they got, that the Phillies got him at. So, maybe the right direction would have been sticking with um, Jake Arietta. But Darvish is once again on the disabled list. I believe they said he had inflammation. I don't know if it was in his, it was either in his shoulder or it was in his elbows, either one. Anyway, he shut down for a little while. Uh, I believe Carl Edward Jr. was also shut down. He's got inflammation as well. I believe his was in the shoulder, so I believe Darvish was in the elbow. But, yeah, man, the Cubs, <laughs> the guys are going down. They had a crazy game last night. And they're going 14 innings with the Mets. I don't know winning that game. And it's surprising because you end up scoring that many runs against in an extra inning game. <laughs> you still wound up putting up, I believe it was 7-1 or 7-2. Something like that was the final, so... I mean, it's pretty dang interesting to see stuff like that, especially when, you know, you're going into extra innings. Maybe you, you expect to see one or two runs come across, but you wanted up putting up a six spot in extra innings. Hell, yeah, 7-1 was the final in that one. But anyway, you guys, let's go ahead and get into this one. It's 2-2 two -two count for Kyle Schwarber as he's up to bat here with one out already. He's going to poke that one through. That's going to be our first base hit in the ball game, and we're getting something going possibly here in the second inning. It's still a 0-0 ball game. We got Anthony Rizzo up to bat, and Rizzo's getting caught looking. We can't take those kind of pitches. We got to be able to pull the trigger, and just one of the kind of freezing us on that one. Hopefully, we can get something going here. As Oscar Pinheiro up to bat, one one count, just a high fly ball out there to left field, and that's going to wind up being a third out here in the second. Still no score, but we do get the first hit in this one. You Darvish back on the mound, looking to see if he can get Arcia, and Arcia is going to get the first base hit for the Brewers. And these guys might have something going here as they get a leadoff single. See if Darvish can get back to it as he gets another strikeout, number five on the ball game. See you later, Jet Bandy. See why they're getting struck out. No one count, pitcher trying to bunt. That ball's over there to Rizzo. Rizzo fires it to Panera. Panera looking to see if he can turn the double play. Not going to be able to. So he gets it to Zobras, but it's just not in time. Two one count, Lorenzo Cain. Grounder, Panero is going to be able to flip it over to Zobras. No problem. Gets the force out at second. And we are out of the top half of the third. Let's see if we can get something going on our head. Zobras, Darvish, and Happer up. 2 1 count. Ian Happer up to bat. Two outs already. Ian Happer reaches for one out of the zone. Looks like it would have been ball three. And Lorenzo Kane has no problem in the third inning. Goes just, goes just like that. 1 2 3 inning. No problem right there for Woodruff. Darvish up to um, back on the mound. 0-2 count. Villar is going down. She swings at a high curveball. That one did not go where we wanted it to. It was one of them hanging up there. Luckily, he was able to miss it. Christian Yelich up to bat here. This ball popped up there to right field. It's in shallow territory. No problem for Bryce Harper. He gets there in time. Long run, but he was able to get there. No problem. 
Oh, one count. Darvish looking to set down Eric Thames. It's a grounder. Rizzo's there, and that's going to be the third out for the in the fourth. Another one, two, three inning, and here we go. Let's see if we can get something. As the power is coming up the back. Chris Bryant drives this one out there to left field. Just got out in front of it. It's going to wind up being a foul ball. Makes it a 2-2 two -two count, but we are going to skip ahead. 3-2 count, and it's going to be a walk for Chris Bryant with no problem. There you go, Chris. We'll take it. 1-2 count. Wilson Contreras up to bat here, and yes, Wilson Contreras is back in the lineup. We're actually making him play through the injury son, because Victor Caratini's dead, but he should be fully healthy here in the next day or two, as Kyle Schwarber sends this one deep out there to right field. That ball carrying well, looking up is Santiago, and it is a two-run home run for Kyle Schwarber. Gives us the first points in this one, and it's a 2 nothing ball game in one second. I don't know, man. I just can never get used to this bullpen and the weird dances that they wind up doing. But it is a 2 nothing ball game. Thanks to Kyle Schwarber. He's back in the home run column. Let's get it, Schwarber, man. Let's go. They were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason. So we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. He sure did, man. Good stuff, Schwarber. It also helps that, you know, he was going up against the right-handed pitcher, too, is that's going to wind up being a base hit for Anthony Rizzo going against the shift. It's not fast enough to get all the way out to the wall, and a great job by Yellich to be able to cut it off. But we will gladly take a single for Rizzo, man. He's really starting to pick things up for us. 0-2 count. Oscar Pinero is going to pop this one high up there. First baseman Eric Thames comes over. No problem. He gets the third out, and that's going to end the fourth inning, but not before we take the lead. We'll take it. 1-0 one, uh, one count. Travis Shaw sends this one out there to right field. Bryce Harper on the run. He's not going to be able to track it down in time. That ball is going to get all the way to the wall. And that is going to be a double, a leadoff double at that for Travis Shaw. And they got something brewing here in the top of the fifth inning. 0-2 oh, count. Darvish looking for the strikeout. Santana sends this one out there to left field on the run. And Schwarber, Schwarber gets down there at the track. Shaw's going to stay at second. And boy, that ball was, looked like if it may have had a little height, it may have had a chance to get out of here as Darvish gets the strikeout. Big time strikeout. We definitely needed that one. Let's see if we can get out of this inning without giving up a run. This ball hit out there to left field and it is gone. You gotta be kidding me. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? I mean, honestly, I have no clue who Bandy is, but he winds up sending this one out of here for a two run blast. I, you just got to be kidding me. And this game is tied. Darvish, you've been pitching well. I mean, it was a mistaken pitch. But, I mean, that's wild. And you guys can look at this guy. You know, he's nothing crazy. He's 68 overall. I mean, he has decent power. That's enough to get the ball at the park. But, wow. That's a little embarrassing. 2-2 two -two count. We wind up striking out Woodruff. He gets caught looking. Down goes the pitcher. And we'll gladly take it. Ben Zobers leads us off here. One, two count. Ben Zobers sends this one high to right field. And this one is not coming back. It is a 3-2 ball game. Ben Zobers coming up big for a home run in this one. I believe that's his second of the season. And here goes the bullpen once again. Get their dancing shoes on. <laughs> My goodness, Carl Evers Jr. doing the robot. But anyway, yeah, man, we'll gladly take it. Zobris coming up big. Winds up giving us the lead right back. Darvis coming up next. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Zobris is a good player. One of the best players in this lineup? Not really, due to the fact, you know, Chris Bryant, Bryce Harper. <laughs> Schwarbers, Contreras, Rizzo as this ball hit out there to right field too and that ball is gone in half a solo shot home run we extend this lead again in the 5th inning it's a 4-2 game and it looks like the other guys in the bullpen are tired of dancing Edwards still getting it down out there him and Pedro stroke but let's get it in half extends this lead forward to another solo shot home run We've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Yeah, Matt, you know what, Gilbert? We got up this morning for this day game here. We were expecting a high-scoring game, but boy, we haven't been disappointed. Yeah, you take the temperature of a lot of guys in the league. They definitely will tell you they see the ball better at, in the daytime than they do at night. Case in point today, ball was jumping off the bats of both lineups. It's mainly jumping off for us. The Brewers still only had like one or two hits. Well, not one or two. They still only got like two or three hits. As this ball hit out there to the right field, no problem. Bryce Harper tracks it down, gets the first out in the top of the sixth inning. Let's get it. 
Darvish, he's looking pretty well so far. 2-1 count. That ball's going to be hit right back up the middle. That is another base hit for the Brewers here in this one. Like I said, they don't really have any base hits in this one. I believe that's only the third hit of the ball game. As Darvish has just pretty much worn down. 2, two count. Yelich is going down. That's another strikeout. And Darvish is absolutely feasting on these Brewers. 1-2 count. Eric Thames looking to come up big. He already has one home run in this series, but it's not happening right here. He gets caught looking at a fastball that's right there. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Up to bat now. Wilson Contreras hitting, leading off the bottom of the six. Contreras is going to send it high, deep, left field. It is not coming back, getting all the way out of the ballpark. And that is a solo shot for Wilson Contreras. Welcome back to the lineup, Wilson. He had a couple struggles here in his first early couple at bats. But you can definitely tell he is back as this one leaves the stadium. And that is a solo shot. We extend this lead 5 to 2 as Anthony Rizzo comes up to bat here. This ball hit out there, high out there. Center field. Going back is Lorenzo Kane, and it's not going to carry enough. Schwarber is over there at first. He wound up getting um, hit by a pitch, and it winds up putting him on. So we'll gladly take that. 2 2 count. Oscar Pinheiro gets caught looking. This has not been a great game for Oscar as he winds up looking at a fastball that was right there. Here's a look at the line score. Okay, they got four hits in this ballgame. Wasn't really sure where their hit count was, but not like it mattered that much. Anyway, Travis Shaw up to bat. Ground over there to Rizzo. Not sure where Rizzo was going after his first step. But that is a grounder, and we'll take the first out here in the seventh inning. Up to bat, Santana. Santana goes down. 11 strikeouts in the ball game for you, Darvish, number 11. Maybe if you Darvish would have watched my videos, maybe he would know how to pitch better in real life. <laughs> this guy has kind of been struggling for real. But he's been balling here in this one for us. As this ball gets all the way past uh, Harper, that got all the way to the wall. That man's going to get all the way to third. We're going to get it to our catcher, Contreras, to make sure there's no inside the park home run. Come on, Darvish. We need you to come through. 3-2 count, and he's going to wind up walking Jet Bandy, and you're throwing a slider on a full count. Might not be the greatest pitch idea, but he's starting to lose that control. Looks like they're starting to get to him some, and that's going to do it for you, Darvish. He pitched a fantastic game. I mean, gave up, gave up a few hits, but he struck out 11 batters. Couldn't ask for really much better. I mean, he did give up a two-run home run, but we're, we're going to live with that. You know, that's fine. You know, no problem. Adam Warren's going to come in the game. Let's see if he can get out of this jam. Men on the corners, 2-1 count. Warren looking to get out of here. This ball's hit out there to right field. Bryce Harper needs to get there in time. He will, and that's going to end the top half for the seventh. Let's get it, everybody. Let's get it. 2-2 two -two count. Addison Russell will be leading off for us. This ball's hit off the pitcher. Coming in, RC is going to wind up getting out Addison Russell. And the score of this one ends up being a 1-6-3. Russell was filling in as a pinch batter for the pitcher. And, man, that just sucks. Russell looks like he was going to have a base hit as we wound up striking out with Ian Happ. Happ wound up chasing the fastball out of the zone. That was a little bit too high for him. 2-2 two -two count. Chris Bryant up to bat, and Bryant's rolling this one over to the shortstop, Arcia, once again, and that's going to end the seventh inning. We got two frames left. Here comes the top half of the order for the Brewers. In the game, Brandon Morrow up to, uh, excuse me, up here pitching. Jonathan Lahr was up to bat. He gets caught looking. As he goes down, Christian Yelich at the bat, 2-2 two -two count. Can't catch up with a 100-mile-per-hour fastball inside. Perfect placement, and that's going to wind up ending that half of the inning. Let's head to the bottom of the eighth where Kyle Schwarber awaits his other at bat. Schwarber's going to wind up ripping this one down that first baseline. Bryce Harper is on base over there at first. Harper's going to take himself all the way to third, and Harper is in there with men on the corners with one out. We got something cooking here, potentially. Oscar Pinheiro up to bat here. Swings at the first pitch, and this ball's going to end up dropping in front of the right fielder. That's going to wind up bringing home a run. It is a 6-2 ball game. Let's get it. We extend this lead a little bit more. And, hey, we got a good opportunity. As Pedro Stroke comes in the game looking to close it up and get us this win. We've been we've had a very good month of April so far as Eric Thames winds up going down. He gets caught looking. 0-2 count again. Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw's going down. A splitter. He couldn't catch up with it at the bottom of his knees. 0-2 count. Looking for the strikeout and getting him again. Striking out the side. Pedro Stroke. We're out of here with the victory. And we are back into the win column. Stroke got that slot away out of the zone. 
And it just looked like he wanted nothing to do with it. I'm not even sure why he even swung at that. You guys, I do want to say thank you for tuning in to another episode. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave a comment. Share the video with other people you think might also enjoy this series. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the videos. I'll be posting other series and more. If you guys did miss the previous videos, the link to the playlist is in the description. You guys can also follow me on Twitter at CW underscore ENT23. Link is also in the description. I'm out to next time, everybody. Peace. Chicago, singles up out of here.